Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out King Under the Mountain again. We've seen this one uh, twice before in the past. It's been uh, like once a year we seem to check on this one. We saw the very early pre-alpha days uh, and then the Kickstarter days. There's a demo that came out, uh, I think it was last year. And then now here we are again at Alpha 2.3. And uh, I thought this one was worth keeping an eye on, and uh, we're going to do some more eye-keeping on it this time. If you've not seen it before, uh, essentially it's a, uh, a Dwarf Fortress-like, RimWorld-like colony builder. Uh, Dwarf Fortress is, I think, the big inspiration here, with, you know, the, the graphics and the UI that uh, we all want from Dwarf Fortress. Anyway, let's take a look at it and see what it's all about. Um, at the moment, we just have a band of orcs. We don't get any sort of, of building here. We just start off with a randomly generated map with lots and lots of colonists here. We have 28 people, like Torni Yellowfall, the Dwarven Chef. We have two Red Steelgar, the Dwarven Carpenter. We can see what all their jobs are right in here. We got 12 chefs in this place, six farmers, five miners. Um, yeah, and we're just going to give them some jobs and let them go do some things. We can see in the mountains here, we've got some hematite. There's a river over this way and some stone floors. There is no Z levels here, and there was not going to be any Z levels in the game, from what I understand. Uh, let's see, we've got hematite over that way. There's some mushrooms in the uh, gnome stool mushroom, eh? Uh, well, let's just dig in right here. Uh, along, so we got some potatoes laying around, some purple helmet mushrooms. Let's go and dig mine, just like right here. Just come on straight back, and we'll build a big room like that. You know, even bigger than that. Let's go, like, let's make this thing fancy. How about, how about the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's extra, extra fancy. There we go. Okay, so now, first thing we probably should be doing, though, is building up some zones. We need some stockpile zones. Let's just get some resources thrown in, into here, just to get them out of the way and, and, uh, out of the stockpile zone. That we got, you know, these stone and wood that's just laying around here. Um, uh, the food needs to get moved into a place as well. So let's make up a food stockpile real quick. We got a granary, which I think is just like for seeds and things, and then the pantry is for uh, the regular food stuff. Go there. We can move it inside later, but for now we'll just get it out of the way. Uh, you know, sort of collected up here. Crank up the speed this way. Uh, all my settlers, of course, have uh, have things they want. Like we got Helga Coop, uh, Copper Copper Rail is the name. She is a chef. Why are you a chef? No, no, no. Be uh, are you a chef? I think you're. I think you're a miner. I said you're a miner and chef. So, who knows what you are? Do whatever that you want to do. But you can also see they have sleep, food, and drink wants. Uh, she's also very optimistic about her new settlement. Yeah, me too. Alright, so first thing we gotta get in here is, uh, we need some torches. We can't see anything. Lanterns, it is. We're, we're classy dwarves. Put some lanterns in there so we can actually see what's going on inside here. Uh, so this works out where we place, like, say we want to put in, uh, like a metal workshop. Then we, we put in a zone, a metalworks zone, which then is complete with furniture. Kind of prison architect if you played that one before, style. Uh, we get some farm plots, though. Uh, let's do one of those out here. Let's put in, it's kind of a big one, but it's fine. We'll put in some, um, uh, potatoes. We have lots of potatoes, I think, with us. There's all our seeds, 22 wheat seeds. We got some tomato seeds, 48 potato seeds. You know, wheat might be a good idea, too, because we can make a bakery eventually. So let's go and put in a... Another farm right here, complete with wheat. It's a very small farm, isn't it? Stop clicking off there. I want uh, wheat at that one. Um, I can make it a little bigger if I want. We can go into farm plot and increase that. The um, I have to turn it as low as it goes, but it goes it's super uh, loud. So uh, music's fine actually. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. So they get some wheat laid out there. I'm not chopping any trees. Where are the trees at? There's no trees on this side of the... Way down there. And way, way, way up there. Hmm. I can't go across the river because we don't have a bridge. We could make one. I think we have enough planks for that. How many planks do we have here? We got 16 planks. Hmm. Let's, um... Here, let's do this. Let me set a new zone. Let's go with a, a mason workshop. We're going to set that one in right... First thing you get to do when you come in is the mason. Right there. In the mason's workshop, we're going to put in a stonemason bench so that he can go do, you know, stonemason things and put a lantern here as well. There you go, buddy, so you can see things. So they're going to work on that. They're going to take some six basalt blocks, which are over here, and haul them over there to make that thing so we can make more blocks. Now, there's no... There's a lot less micromanagement in here than than you would assume on these kind of games. Put a pillar right here because I'm a little nervous about, you know, what we could do make it fancy. Pillar, pillar. Cave-ins are certainly a thing. So let's put some pillars in there to keep it from doing that. 
Um, there's a lot less micromanagement because once we get this thing built, the dwarves will just do what they want to do. They'll just make whatever they feel is necessary. If I say, build me a kitchen table and it needs stone, then they'll go do it. I don't have to tell them what supplies that I want. I'm not sure if that's the plan for the future of the game, but that's just in the game right now. You can see we've got all of our supplies, our stockpiles this way. Um, there's some hematite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some iron. So this is all done. You can see uh, they're now, they got a rough, uh, well, it's now done. And it's producing two blocks. So here she comes. Turid Steel Gear. It, the uh, the carpenter and stonemason is coming over here to go whale on that. No, no, no. Looks like Seagrin is working on it. The chef or stonemason. I don't know what she is. She thinks, she, she's confused. There's a lot of iron in there. Okay. So now that we have that, now we can make blocks. We can go into here and uh, build a bridge. So we can get to this, uh, these trees over here. Let's build a bridge. I want a stone bridge. And it's going to be like that. Yes. How, many, how much is that going to take? Who knows? Figure it out, I guess. And it looks like, uh, looks like Torvald is going to steal it, uh, to stare at it. Good job, buddy. Everyone's just going, oh, they're coming here to get a drink of water because we're all thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the orange stuff? We don't know. We can see it, but we can smell it. But we, oh, citrine. Okay. Uh, how about a, um, let's see, we got the mason there. Um, I kind of want to make things look a little bit nicer here. Can we go in and do some mining and maybe go, let's see, we can have like the main room coming in here. We'll do like workshop land over this way. We'll do something like, maybe like that. For workshop land, we're cranking up the speed this time. We can dig in there and get that started up. Oh, we know what we probably need also is a, uh, a door. How about a, how about a, uh, uh, cave in. How about a stone door? You didn't die, did you? Are you dead? Everyone's sleeping at the moment. You okay? Siegfried squat axe. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. You know, just a little cave-in. Uh, nothing too bad. Um, that's why I put those pillars in there. Uh, let's go mine the rest of that. You know, you get one cave-in. It's not going to happen again, obviously. Um, let's see. We don't need walls. We need... I need uh, more pillars, I guess. There we go. Something like that. that, that that's fancy. Okay, so this is a workshop land back here. Let's go put in some uh, new zones. We need a... We have a mason. We need... Um, what What now? I put the pillars in. Um, let's see. We got a... Uh, we'll need a sawmill. We'll throw that back. I think it's as big as it needs to be. It's just that. Um, we'll also need a... Oh, uh, carpentry workshop. Which we'll put that right there. This guy is going to need a wood cutting bench. Which will go against the wall here. Like that. Like that. Uh, over complete with lanterns, of course. There we go. Um, and then the other one is the, um, what was it, the sawmill? Nope, 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 nope. The carpentry bench is going to need a carpentry workshop. We'll throw it in like that. Almost like we planned it that way. And a couple pillars, you know, just because it makes things look fancy. Yeah, 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 there you go. Um, okay. And uh, we can put more things over on the side. Uh, how about... Um, earthworks. No, 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 no. Um, metalworks. It needs to be a lot bigger, I think. Like that. And then at the metalworks, we're gonna put in. Come in, come in, come in. Um, yeah, yeah. We need a forge, which is very big. We need a bloomery furnace. Sure, we do. Uh, cannot be rotated, so we're gonna throw it in right there, I guess. Um, Coke oven? It's very big as well. Everything's big. We're going to have to do some more digging. Dig this stuff out like that. Okay. Just slow down a little bit. It's a little frantic. Okay. So we still have cave-ins and all that. We'll, we'll deal with that later on. Um, where do I... I put pillars in. They don't seem to work. So let's, um... We could put some walls in, though. That would certainly do it. So let's put a wall, like, um... There and there. Just... For uh, maybe a little bit of stability. And let's do that stuff out. Yeah. Get out of here. Cave in stuff. Um, we need places for food and for drink and all that. We're going to make this like a big grand hall right here. We'll put some bedrooms off this way. Um, I'm going to just do a giant bedroom for now. There is like uh, caves and things we can find later on down here. Am I building a spaceship? What's happening here? 
It's like my um, my wheat is growing. My potatoes are growing as well. Let's hurry up through, through the night. What is this? Oh, Hertha died due to falling debris. Oh no, Hertha's dead. Hertha. Hertha. She had such a nice bow. Who's this? Ira. Falling debris. Oh no, there's a rock still on top of her. <laughs> uh whoops. <laughs> okay. Um let's crank through the uh through the nighttime here so people get back up. Get back and get to work. Okay. Uh we can expand this a little more. Uh metalworks and tiles like uh that. And then we can put in whatever we need here, which is what do we have what do we have left? The Coke oven? Yep. It can go right there. And then the ore crushing station cannot be rotated. So we're going to throw it right there. We need some la uh, some lanterns to light this place up. Like that. Okay. Uh, I guess since she's dead, we should probably bury her. Um, oh, my door works. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's put in a graveyard. We're going to throw it in. Um, oh, you know what we can do here, actually? There's cool things we can do here. Let's do something like... Like right over here. Like you walk into the fortress, first thing you see is the dead. That's how it should be. Sarcophagus? Yeah, we want. Can I rotate you? Yeah, like that. And she can go right, right next to you. Yeah, there we go. First deaths. You know it's a proper fortress when you've got um, sarcophagus, sarcophagi, as, when you can walk in. I want a uh, a door, a stone door, right there. Uh, I can't do it here. I put a wall in there because I can't do double doors yet. So in the future of the game, I think I've mentioned this before in, the, in a previous uh, coverage of this, uh, there is plans of you can play not only dwarves, but it can be orcs and um, I don't know, orcs and something else. Trolls, I think is what it said. Oh, look at that. We got a whole new... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's quite a cavern. What is that? Bituminous coal? Uh-huh. Okay. Mushroom. We got some topaz and uh, tourmaline. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, silver? Well, I think we just hit the jackpot. Copper ore. Mm -hmm, diamond. Mm -hmm, diamonds. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's harvest some of these mushrooms here. Well, that's uh, our fortress just grew by <laughs> by uh by a lot. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's say this is gonna be. We need kitchen. We need. Let's make. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's make. Feasting hall. This is an important part of this. Let's put a feasting hall right here. Can we get the dead out of here, please? Uh, right here. We're gonna feast where she died. Um, she won't mind. We're gonna put in a feasting table right here, so we can do uh, some feasting here. Can I put it where it lines up somewhat even? No, I cannot. Uh, well, we can do it like that, and then we're gonna put our serving table is gonna be over here, uh, and then we're gonna have chairs, of course. Like that. We could put double chairs here. There's a lot of us. 28 of us. Uh, we're gonna need a cauldron. We'll stash that over here by the by the serving table, as well as a water barrel. Um, I'll put a water barrel over here also because those are important to have around. Uh, we need lanterns around. There we go. I'm not gonna eat in the dark like a bunch of savages. We're gonna put some, some lanterns out that way. We'll put one there and in the corners here. Uh, oh, we need lanterns over these guys. Yeah, yeah. Light them up. There we go. Can we put them in there yet? We need more stone blocks to be available. Well, then get to work on them. You're producing stone blocks. I don't believe you. We're already a week into the game here. And one giant cavern later, we, uh... Oh, we get, this is even more! I didn't even see all this. Okay, uh, well, let's do a big bedroom. We're just going to do one giant bedroom, I think. Like that. And, um, all really needs is beds. So, we're just gonna throw in... There's 28 of us. So... We're just gonna throw people in here. Throw might be a strong word. Accommodate is the word. Um, there's rocks in the way or something. Oh, it's outside the zone. Um... Yeah, this is nice and organized. There we go. There we go. Um, okay.
Bunch of dwarves all sleeping together. It'd be a nightmare to just come in here. There we go, though. Oh, some beds are getting done already. Oh, the nice thing. Neat. Still probably not quite enough for all of our dwarves, but it's something. Uh, we can get in some more lanterns here so we can see things. One there and there. Stash a bunch of these in here. Back that way. Make sure we can see things. My favorite part of this uh, of this game is the uh, is the cursor. The whole uh, light, light up around the cursor. Very nice. Door there. Um, everyone's sleeping. What's with all the sticks on the ground? Oaken barrel staves. Why are they on the ground? Who did that? Who did that? Why isn't this made yet? You need a copper anvil and 15 slate blocks. We should have plenty of blocks once this guy actually does his job. Where's my copper anvil at? It's right there. You guys are a bunch of slobs. Get to work. There's a steel cauldron right there, which we can get hauled in. My kitchen needs to get made. This is supposed to be the kitchen, isn't it? Uh, here, let's... Um, do a little bit more mining right here and make this into a kitchen. Like that. Uh, can't, actually, cancel that one. Oh, too late. There we go. The door's going in there. Uh, the table's slowly getting made. Water is actually in the water barrels, though. Okay. Let's go put in our kitchen. Where's our kitchen? There it is. Throw it in like that's probably giant sized. Um, we'll need a baker's workshop back here, a baker's oven right there next to it, um, a lantern, and a grist mill. Is that going to mill up the wheat? I guess. Kitchen workshop. Throw it here in the uh, right there. Cauldron on the end, and a water barrel uh, right there. I meant. Okay, there we go. There's a kitchen. Um, we need lots and lots of blocks made. I may need a second mason because this guy is slow. Stone's everywhere. And he ain't working. Um, do you need a table for this place? I mean, a, a, a chair. Um, I think if you needed a chair, it would be in the in these options here. So I don't think you do. It's very dark in here. Can you hang lanterns on these? There's lanterns everywhere around here. Yeah, we have lanterns in some places. Uh, I don't know if there's any threats yet. I don't think there is anything to fight us or uh, anything like that. Um, it's all pretty basic. We've got... Uh, this is waiting for some oaken planks as well. Oh, wait. Uh, the bridge done yet? No, why not? I'm moving other items. Oh, you can't because there's bushes. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to make a stone bridge. Stone bridge. Like that. Let's we'll see if that works now. we got to get and get these trees. We could just send people on this sort of expedition up here and grab these trees. Um, yeah, we have a severe lack of trees around here. So let's do that. So if you're doing nothing, go chop some trees. Get to work. Uh, one thing we haven't made yet, actually, is uh, inside this place we can have a mushroom farm. And uh, I can't really call ourselves dwarves. We don't have mushroom farms. What are these? What are these? Oh, it's gems. So mushroom farm is going to go right in here. And within the farm, we can put in some mushroom logs. Like These are like the logs that the mushrooms grow on. Like, you know, just stumps of wood. Like that. Uh, and we can put a shock tank in here. Which I guess is what we use for making mushrooms. Uh, I'm not sure if it needs light, but we're going to put a light back in here. And we'll get to work on that also. And these are... Oh, hematite crushed ore. Um, this is full, so we need, like, stockpile land. Let's do uh, resources stockpile. Back there for now. Um, the, the granary is where the seeds are. So that's... Oh, you should build, like, a building outside for that. Uh, and the pantry's going to be in here with the kitchen. Probably should be bigger than that. Can I, um... I can't take up any kitchen space, but I can make it bigger. Something like that, I guess. Um, and then, uh, tools should be in here, certainly. Like that. How's the tools? Oh, those tools are... It is full of tools. Here one needs to be over there instead. That's full, too. More space. 
It's getting done. That's getting hauled over there. Um, chairs are made, at least. Need four more slate blocks to come in here. You know what? Let's get uh, another masonry shop. I'm going to put it in. I think it'll fit right in here. Um, it's really ugly, though, isn't it? Let's make a... What's mine? Like this. And then make a little mason back here. Into that spot. Mine that out. Put another mason in there. And, um... And the stone blocks, I don't know where they get stored. I'm assuming it's just up here in just in generic resources land. Up there or right out here. So we put a workshop in there. But it's going to get filled with everything. I don't think there's any way of, of selecting what resources are actually here. It's just resources. Just generic, you know, just general resources. Right? Yeah, I can rename it if I wanted to, but that's all there is to it. So once we get that done, that'll help us out quite a bit, I think. We have stone everywhere, but people are just not working here fast enough. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and put in mason right there. Complete with stone mason workbench. I'm going to just do two of these. Could I do two benches in here? Oh, I bet I could. Let's see if that works. Uh, we'll mine out these sides just in case they need the space to walk in. Just to help them out a bit, but I think that's that should be good. Oh, someone's in here. Uh, are they buried in there? No, no, she's still sitting right there under the wall. Um, can we uh, remove that pillar there? Maybe remove that wall there. I'm afraid if we move that wall, it's all going to collapse on us again. We do have a stone thing there. So. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we can speed this up. I want to see if we can get this in done. We're, we're waiting on wood for all this. We don't have enough... Um, it probably have a some stone needs to go over here. Waiting for more stone blocks, yeah. Uh, the wheat's looking good, though. 45%. So this is at 48 for the potatoes. We do have plenty of food over here, looks like. The helmets. Uh, elf's bane mushrooms. There is carrots there, too. Oh, you need some lights. Oh, wait, we have lights set up, but they're just not being made yet. Need more metal. Oh, metal ingots for those. Oh. Okay, so this, and that needs this. Which needs slate blocks. Okay. I wonder here, if we can go into my settlers here. We've got ten chefs. That seems a little bit overboard. And we've got only five miners. Six stonemasons. Can I have more stonemasons? We can go in and select... Oh, there you go. She's making them. But let's say... Who are you? You're a woodcutter. You're going to go to sleep. How about this? I got a new job for you. You're going to be a stonemason now. What do you think of that? I could give you two jobs. But no, no. You just stonemason. Or fall asleep, whatever you want to do. People are having... Oh, my t is my table done? No, they're just having drinks at the, at the chairs. Table's not done yet. <laughs> I can't increase priority of these things either. So we're uh, just going to have to wait for them to get done. Maybe we did too much stuff. And this... Uh, we got one block that's been hauled over there. The only reason I want this is so we can get to those trees. Because there's no other way, no other way of getting there. There's trees down, and it's a long way. It's actually not... Yeah, we have to cut through that. Yeah, we got... And there's a bunch of wood just sitting around up here. The woods are getting... Or, uh, blocks are getting made, though. Slowly. The, uh... Looks like the, uh, the logs are out for the mushrooms. And the, the shock tank is there as well. What's the point of, what's the point of a shock tank in there? How's that work? So here's a carpentry, be carpentry bench, and I don't know, I'm assuming, it, like if I say I want to make uh, like a chair, a wooden chair, I guess they would go here and make it from that. Um, I made everything, I haven't made an earthworks yet. This is just a place for, uh, for uh, charcoal. Which we will need as soon as we get our metal place going, so let's do that. We're putting all our stone probably over here first. I'm going to cancel that because I want to get my stone elsewhere. Although, I think we've probably shown enough of the game to uh, get an idea of what's going on. There's not really a lot more than this. Um, oh, we finally get a buried. Where did we put our body? Where's our body at? 
You didn't throw up here in the stockpile, did you? Oh. Torvald. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Thought you were dead, buddy. Uh, I don't know where she went. Unless they put her in there. But we had two people there, though. Unless she's under the rock. Who knows? She was there, though. Yeah, she's gone now, though. She's out of here. Anyway, there's King of the Mountain. Uh, we'll check out it. We'll check it out again here in another year and see see where the progress is, has gone. But they're certainly making progress slowly, but progress is being made. And uh, you know, here in in 15 years, it could be an amazing game. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.